Good day, learners! Welcome to Black Science! Here, you can learn bio science contents and enjoy simple tasks. I am Petro Leonard, and together, let us discover the mystery of things through science. For today's lesson, you'll be able to infer the conditions necessary to make a bulb light up. Sa araling ito ay inyong matututunan kung ano ang mga kinakailangang kondisyon upang makapagpailaw na isang bumbigya. But before that, let us have a quick review of our previous topic about the interaction of light with different materials. Now get your pen and paper and try to answer the following questions. Number 1. Which is the primary source of light? A. Rainbow B. Sun C. Flashlight B. Sun Next, which object reflects light? A. Mirror B. Plastic bottle C. Flatwood A. Mirror Next, which object is a transparent material? A. A piece of paper B. Glass C. Colored envelopes B. Glass Next, which color absorbs all the light? A. Black B. Yellow C. White A. Black Good job, learners! Ngayon ay tingnan ng larawan. Ano ang mga gamit sa loob ng bahay ang nangangailangan ng electricity? In the picture, we can see television, lights, and lamps. These are some of the appliances that we use na nangangailangan ng electricity. But, how does electricity flow to your appliances? Paano nga ba dumadalay ang kuryente patungo sa ginagamit nating mga appliances? There are two conditions that must be met in order for electricity to flow. First, there must be a source of electricity. Dapat meron tayong pagkukunan ng electricity. Second, there must be a complete path for the electricity to flow through. Kailangang maayos at kompleto ang path o daraan ng electricity patungo sa gagamitin nating appliances. To further understand the flow of electricity to your appliances, alamin natin kung paano makapagpapailaw na isang bumbilya through a simple circuit. Now, let us define what is a simple circuit. A simple circuit is a closed loop of a conductor that electrons can travel around. Ito ay kadalasang binubuo ng power source, an electrical component or device, and conducting wire. Ibig sabihin, ang simple circuit ay binubuo ng iba't ibang components, at ito ay ang mga sumusunod. The source of electricity like battery, an electrical device or light bulb, conducting wires, and switch. All these materials are needed to create a simple circuit. Ngayon ay tingnan ng larawan. This is an example of a simple circuit. Makikita dito kung paano nabuo ang components na isang simple circuit mula sa source of electricity, wire, light bulb, at switch. We can observe that a wire is attached to the negative end of the battery and another wire is attached to the positive end. While both wires from the battery are attached to the bulb, in this lesson, we will be identifying two types of circuit. The first one is the closed circuit. A closed circuit makes the bulb light up because the path of electricity is complete. Makikita natin sa diagram na kompleto o buo ang daraanan ng electricity mula sa source patungo sa light bulb. That's why it allows the electricity to flow through it kaya't umiilaw ang bumbilya in a closed circuit. 
On the other hand, open circuit does not allow electricity to flow through because there is a gap from one end of the circuit to the end. Makikita natin sa diagram na nakabukas o naka-open ang switch kung kaya't hindi makadaraan ng electricity mula sa source patungo sa light bulb. Dahil dito, hindi iilaw ang bumbilya because the circuit is open. What is the importance of switch in a circuit? From this comparison, we can say na ang switch ay nagkukontrol ng flow of electricity from source to the electrical component or light bulb. Kaya't mahalagang tandaan na kapag hindi natin kailangan ng ilaw sa loob ng tahanan, ay patayin ang switch nito upang makatipid sa kuryente. Gayun din sa ibang appliances, kung hindi gagamitin, ay bunutin o tanggalin sa source of electricity. Congratulations learners! That concludes our lesson today. Here, we study about a simple circuit and its components. We differentiate open circuit to a closed circuit. We also give importance to the proper usage of electricity. And to see if you understand our lesson, let us enjoy doing and answering the following learning tasks. In this learning task, you need to label the parts of a circuit. And you need to identify what type of circuit is being shown in the diagram. You can pause the video while answering the questions. For this task, you need to match the concept in column B with its description in column A. You can pause the video while answering the questions. Great job, learners! I know that you have enjoyed and discovered new things today. I am Teacher Leonard saying goodbye and see you on our next class science.